Good day, viewers. Welcome back to the second lesson of our modular arithmetic. Today, we are going to be looking at addition and subtraction of modular arithmetic. Now, how do we undergo the operation or how do we form the multiplication table of modular arithmetic, the addition and the subtraction? We can form this thus here. It is in modulo 4, modulo 3, modulo 5, or any modulo. Now, let's look at an example of addition of modulo 4. Addition table of modulo 4, 1 to a hat. So we use this sign to show addition in modulus, to differentiate it from the addition in algebra. So we have the first number. 0, 1, 2, 3. Then we have second one. This is the first number. And this is second number, 1. Oh, we start from 0. 1, 2, 3. So second number. Now, we want to add. Don't forget, it's in modulo 4. 0 plus 0, of course, is 0. 0 plus 1, we have 1. 0 plus 2, 2. 0 plus 3, 3. Move on to this one. 1 plus 0, 1. 1 plus 1, we have 2. 1 plus 2, we have 3. 1 plus 4. So 1 plus 4 gives 4. So this 4, when your number, the addition of the number is up to the modulo, we are going to see this 4 divided by the modulo 4 gives 1, remainder 0. So we are going to write the remainder 0. Then to this, 2 plus 0, 2. 2 plus 1, 3. 2 plus 2 is 4. Then how many... 4, can we see the 4? We have 1 remainder 0. So we have 0. Then 2, 2 plus 3. 2 plus 3. We have 5. This 5 is above our modulo. We now say, how many 4 can we see in 5? We have 1. Remainder 1. We write our remainder 1. Then 3. 3 plus 0. We have 3. 3 plus 1. That is 4. 4 goes in 4. We have 1 remainder 0. 0. 3 plus 2, we have 5. 4 goes in 5, we have 1 remainder 1. We write your remainder 1. 3 plus 3, 3 plus 3, we have 6. 6 above the modulo. 6 divided by 4, that is 1. Remainder 2. We write our remainder 2. So this is how to undergo the operation, addition operation of modulo 4. The next one is subtraction table of modulo 4. This is sent to show subtraction. 0, 1, 2, 3. So making 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 1, 2, 3. That is 4. So these are the first, this first number. This is the second numbers. Now, let's start. 0 minus 0, we have 0. 0 minus 1, 0 minus 1 gives minus 1. And we cannot write minus 1 here. What we are going to do is, you add your modulo. That is, your modulo is 4 plus 4. If your modulo is 5, you have plus 5. So, one minus 1 plus 4, we have 3. So 3 is not up to the modulo. So we write the 3. 0 minus 2. 0 minus 2. That is 2. We cannot write minus 2. Then we had our modulo 4. Minus 2 plus 4. We have 2. So 2 is not up to the modulo. We write 2. 1 minus 3. 0 minus 3. That is minus 3. You had your modulo 4. Gives 1. This is 1. So 1 minus 0, we have 1. 
1 minus 1, 0. 1 minus 2, 1 minus 2. We have minus 1. So minus 1, we can write the minus, we add it to plus, we have plus 4. Minus 1 plus 4, we have what? 3. So we have 3 here. 1 minus 3, it gives minus 2. As in this case, minus 2. Add 4 to it, we have 2. 2 minus 0, we have 2. 2 minus 1, we have 1. 2 minus 2, we have 0. 2 minus 3, we have minus 1. So this is minus 1. Add 4 to the minus 1, we have 3. Then 3 minus 0, we have 3. 3 minus 1, we have 2. 3 minus 2, we have 1. 3 minus 3, we have 0. So this is how to undergo the operation of subtraction in, of in modulo 4. You can also use this one in modulo 5. To form a modulo 5, is going to be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Modulo 6, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it will stop at a number less than the modulo. A number less than the modulo. Modulo 7 will stop at 6. Modulo 8 will stop at 7. Starting from 0 to what? To 7. Example 1. Find the values of the following in the stated moduli. The first one. A. 8 plus 6 in mode 5. So we have 8 plus 6 gives 14. Since it's in mode 5, we now say 14 divided by the mode. So 5 goes in 14. We are going to have 2 remainder 4. So which means 8 plus 6 is equivalent to 4 in mode 5. Second one, B. 63 plus 78. We now to reduce our stress by adding two large numbers. We can equally solve it one after the other by saying 63 divided by 6. This gives 10. Remainder 3. So which means 63 is equivalent to 3. Second one, 78 divided by 6. 6 goes in 7, we have 1. 6 in 18, that is 3. 18, remainder 0. So which means 78 is equivalent to 0. We now sum it up by saying 3 plus 0. So 3 plus 0 gives 3. Definitely, therefore, 63 plus 78 is equivalent to 3 in mode 6. Example 2. Find the simplest possible positive form of each of the following. The first one, minus 14 in mode 3. We have minus 14. We want to find the simplest positive form, that is positive number in mode 3. So what we're going to do is we had 3 until we get to the positive values. Plus 3. This we give minus 11. Plus 3. This gives minus 8. Then plus 3. This gives minus 5. Plus 3, it gives minus 2. Then plus 3, it gives 1. So which means minus 14 is equivalent to 1 in mode 3. Alternatively, you can also do it in another, another form. By looking at minus 14, and you see what number, what two numbers you can multiply together. Including this, your mode 3, that will give you a number greater than 14. That's a number, two numbers you can multiply together, including this mode 3, that will give you a number greater than 14. Okay, let's look at it this way. If I say minus 3, that is my mode now, my mode is 3, minus 3, multiply by 5. So multiply by 5. This minus 3 times 5 will give you 15. So what can I now add? Minus 3 times 5 is minus 15. 
what can I add to minus 15 to give me minus 14? That is plus 1. So I'm going to plug plus 1. So this 1 is our mode. So in this case, we see minus 14 is equivalent to 1. The second one, minus 2 in mode 9. So we had our mode 9. This gives minus 2 plus now we have what? 7. It means minus 2 is equivalent to 7 in mode 9. Alternatively, we can also get minus 2 by saying that what's two numbers that we can multiply together that can give us a number higher than these two? Higher than the two, including this mode 9. So we're going to have, let's say we have minus 9 multiplied by 1. So minus 9 times 1 is higher. So we're going to have 9 times 1 is 9, including your negative. So what can I add to minus 9 to give me minus 7? Of course, it's plus 7. So plus 7. So which means minus 2 is equivalent to 7 in mode 9. Example 3. Calculate the following in the given moduli. The first one, 12 minus 5. 12 minus 5. So let's work it as 12 minus 5. 12 minus 5 gives 7. 7. Now, but this 7 is above your moduli, which is 4. We now say 7 divided by 4. This results to 1 whole number. 1 remainder 3. So which means 12 minus 5 is equivalent to 3. The second one, 38 minus 42. That is 38 minus 42. When you take away 42 from 38, we are going to have minus 4. And it's a negative number, which we don't need. So in this case, what are we going to do? We had our mode 7 plus 7. Minus 4 plus 7 gives 3. So this means that 38 minus 42 is equivalent to 3. So this is how to undergo the operation of addition and subtraction of modular arithmetic. And in the next class, we are going to move on to the multiplication and division of modular arithmetic. If you have not subscribed to this channel, can you do so? And do share to other learners in order to benefit immensely from this channel. Thank you.